Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, throughout the show, we have been giving you summer recipe inspirations, keeping it soft, simple, but oh so refreshing. And this summery treat now is something for dessert. Summer, summer, summer time. This is what this dessert makes me feel. <laughs> I'm here yeah. for it. Okay, well, let's go to Italy then. A panna cotta may sound very chefy, but let me tell you, it's an easy peasy crowd pleaser. Use strawberries or seasonal berries with some clover bliss yogurt, and voila, we have a delicious showstopper. Yeah, and I think the one thing you've mentioned there is seasonal berries, meaning seasonal fruit would also work perfectly. Yeah. Okay. So yes, we're using our Clover Bliss strawberries and cream today. Right now, that's the one we're going with. But if you wanted to use a different flavor, we could do a lemon uh, panna cotta, which you could use our Clover lemon Bliss meringue. lemon meringue flavor. Mm. So you've got the options, you know, but you're gonna be teaching us something that some people don't think, I don't think they've learned or know about. So. Your lesson may begin, sir. So we're going to be doing the art of um, maceration today. <laughs> that sounds violent. No. <laughs> well, what's maceration? So what, what it is, it's, it's a way to prepare your fruit um, in a way to just keep them nice and juicy and glossy. And it, it basically develops the, the natural juices of the fruit. So you're not adding anything further. You know, it's in, you know, speaking about nutrition earlier to mm. me, it's a nice way to just quickly zhuzh up your berries. And um, it's, it's, it's such a great technique because um, it just gives you that lusciousness. Yeah. You know, I mean, when you look at it, it's just glossy and beautiful and it plumps up that fruit. So mm. literally just such a simple process. And quite interestingly enough, um, macerating your fruit as well, you've already said that it kind of um, elevates all the natural juices and flavors that come in whichever fruit that you're trying. At the end of the day, you'll see, uh, Uche will show you, at the bottom of your little glass, you'll see some water. It is not any water that was added. It's actually the natural juices and natural waters coming from the strawberry. And that's what we want to highlight here today. Uh -huh. And on your side, Dumi, you're going to be showing us how to make the perfect panna cotta. I right. did say it sounds very chefy. It's not chefy at all. And that's what I love about this recipe. It's simple. It's easy. Anyone can make it as long as you've got the right ingredients. I'm going to start it off by adding some cream into our pot. And then I'm going to set it on a medium height because I just want to not bubble, I don't want it to cook. All we want is for that the ingredients that I add. Like for instance, we're gonna add some gelatin that's been soaked. We want it to dissolve. But before I go into that, we've got some cream that's in there. I'm adding in some caster sugar. The reason we've also chosen to go with caster sugar is so that it dissolves, dissolves quicker. And then we're going in with a bit of vanilla. And like I mentioned, we're not cooking this mixture. We're just trying to make sure that the sugar dissolves as well as the gelatin that we're gonna add in there. We just want this to get to a heat. Once it's hot enough, then I'm gonna add our gelatin just so that everything comes together dissolves and then we'll continue with that step but I see Joe you've also started adding sugar to or you added sugar to your strawberries so that's an important step but what's very important is to taste your fruit before so um, just make sure you taste your fruit. If they're already very sweet, don't add too much sugar. Just play around with it. It's all, cooking is all about you know, tasting as you go along. And I think that's, that's an important step. Yeah. That's a mistake I make. Sometimes I only realize at the end of my cooking process that, oh my goodness, yeah. I have not tasted anything. And that's a huge, huge risk, especially during this time of year. It is summer. We want to have some summer parties. Yeah. We want to wow our loved ones. And this is a way to do exactly that. So taste it and then you can add as much sugar yeah. as you need and then you've already squeezed all the juice out of that lemon yeah just the juice of one lemon and just you know stir it around let them dance away and then you can move on to to do your other components yeah. so you just let that sit and you can already see yeah I can that the the, the berries will start breaking down slightly and then you'll have a beautiful delicious close to a berry compote without any cooking. Yeah. Oh, got yeah. you. Okay, do awesome. me panna cotta station. Right, so the panna cotta, we've added our milk, we've added our cream, we've put some vanilla essence as well as some sugar in here. And normally if you're making a dish like this um, that needs to set, people think you'd need to use eggs or stuff like that. That's custard-based dishes, you'd be using eggs. But because we're using gelatin, the reason we want it to be hot is so that the gelatin goes in there and it dissolves as soon as it goes into the mixture. So if you don't have gelatin powder, you can use just normal gelatin leaves it is important though to make sure you um, soak it in some water beforehand to make sure that that mixture comes together and then what's going to happen is once the uh, gelatin has started dissolving I'm going to add our clover bliss the truly indulgent truly 
decadent, you know, uh, ingredient to add to any dish, just to add that additional creaminess to it, right? So I'm gonna add a couple of spoonfuls here. I mean, we've got the measurements and everything on the website, but I'd like to say go in as much as you can because yeah. you want that flavor. And the great part about it is also got those fruit pieces in there. So you're gonna get the strawberries on the top and then you're gonna have the strawberries on the inside as well. Quick question, Dumi, you've already added everything onto your pot and the and the, and the stove was already on. Correct. How hot does your stove need to be? You don't even want it to bubble. You just want it to be at a light simmer. Because okay. all you want is you want the ingredients, like I mentioned, in there to uh, dissolve, but you don't want them to cook, all right? Because we don't want to cook out the, the, the flavors of everything here. We just want the uh, custard or the base of it to be nice and thick. And then once that's done, we're going to plop this into our ramekins. You can use clear glasses like the one mm. you've got there to see the beauty in it, or you can even use... These ramekins we've got over here. This is a dessert that I'm <laughs> definitely going to try. It is sharp, it is crisp. The lemon juice from the lemons here in the maceration process is definitely coming through. Absolutely tangy, which I really do appreciate, and not too sweet. Mm. So to get your hands on this recipe, simply head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Yummy, this is delicious. I'm going to eat all of it. <laughs> Decadence of double cream bliss from Clover. Yogurt has never been so irresistible. Made with love by Clover.